Hi, this is Robert from Transpara and with another video showing off another new feature called Alerts and Alert Templates. I have Christian here. Hi, Christian. Hi, Robert. How are you? Very good. So let's dive right into this. This is a very important feature in Visual KPI. Alerts are a very big deal and they always have been, but now we have a lot of new stuff. So Christian, tell me what is new with Alerts? Certainly. So in alerts, we have um, done a lot of work around alert content. So we've improved our content. We have added the ability to um, alert based on status of different groups, or kind of what we'll call alert escalation. And we've added the concept of alert templates. Excellent. So let's dive right in and show these off. Sure. So let's take a look here. You should be seeing um, an alert right now, and that is uh, just a sample of an alert that's come from Visual KPI. Um, in the alert, there is, uh, most importantly, a link back to the trend, which I'll click on in a second. There is some header information about what the alert and, and why the alert has occurred, along with some history and other details. If we go ahead and click on the trend link, it will take us back to the Visual KPI. And it shows us, uh, in context of that alert and the time that alert occurred, a trend of what is happening. The black vertical line is an indication of the time at which the alert was generated. And if, you, if, if time has passed since this alert, you will see what's happening now, whether things have gotten worse or better. And you'll see some history leading up to when the alert happened and why. So to summarize that, we now have a lot more information inside of an alert. We always had a bit, but now we have a configurable amount, um, which tells you a lot more than something went wrong, but what went wrong, who, what, when, how, how why, etc. And when you go to the trend, you actually see what led up to that state, and if time has passed, you see what happens since. So whether it corrected itself or whether it's getting worse, right? Correct. All right, very cool. So how do we set these up? How is this created, and what is this concept of templates? Sure, so let's go ahead and open up the Visual KPI Designer, and I will go into Alert Templates and open that up. And you see here we have a list. You can have as many of these as you would like. And an alert template is basically where we're defining what the alert is going to do, and then we will later assign that template to a KPI. So let's kind of dive in and talk about columns here. Um, Obviously, name and description is, is self-explanatory. The next two columns are alert reminder interval and time and state. So the alert reminder interval will basically tell you if a certain amount of time has passed and my alert state has not changed, go ahead and send me another um, alert saying as a reminder, saying, hey, this is still in a bad state. You set that to zero, then you don't get reminders. Um, time and state is an important one. Time and state, if it's set to zero, will basically trigger an alert to fire as soon as a KPI goes from good to bad. If time and state is set to a number, and this is in minutes, supposing it's 60 minutes, then you will not get an alarm unless a KPI has hit a bad state and stayed in that bad state for more than time and minutes. So if you have an erratic KPI that kind of goes around into different states but only stays there for a few seconds or a few minutes and you don't want to be alerted then you only want to be alerted if it stays bad for a certain amount of time, right? That's correct. And with a template, you can have different ones of these. So some KPIs, you may want to know right away this is critical. Other KPIs, if it goes high for a few minutes, it's not a big deal. This allows you to have that flexibility. Excellent. The next set of columns, are, there's there's five of them here, and they're the same for all of our statuses. We'll take a look here at low, 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 and then we'll scroll to the end. Um, the five columns, uh, as you can see here, the first, the first two really basically tell you, do I want an alert when the KPI goes into this particular status? And the second column is, do I want a reminder? So you can basically remind or alert on individual uh, different KPI statuses. The next three, which we'll understand a little more when we get to KPIs, is who do I want to notify? Uh, do I want to basically have three different types of contacts? We have your main contact and two alt contacts. And when you, you just set up here, basically true or false, do I want a contact to know about this when it gets in this particular state? Do I want the alt contact or the, the secondary alt contact to know about this? Or all of them, for that matter, right? Or all of them, yes. Yep. Okay. All or none. Great. Um, if we kind of scroll past again, this is the same for all the different statuses that we have. And we'll get to something more interesting at the end. And uh, transient is an interesting one. So if you have your, your time and state, supposing that's set to an hour, and you have a KPI that's fluctuating between two bad states, supposing it's high and high, high, and it's fluctuating every 30 minutes, it goes from high 
it's a high high. You'll notice it'll never you you normally wouldn't get an alert because you're not in one of those mad states for more than 60 minutes. However, you should get notified saying, hey, although I'm not stuck in a bad state, I have been not good for X amount of minutes. So this kind of stops something that's fluctuating between two bad states, but never sitting in one for long enough. You'll still get an alert saying something is wrong. Great. Uh, the next set of columns is return to not alertable, and this is interesting. If uh, you know things are, are are going awry, it's also nice to know that hey, this alert wasn't a bad state, and now it's good. So it kind of gives you peace of mind saying everything is okay now. And the final set of columns uh, is basically just toggling and, and deciding what you want to not what you want to include or not include in the email that's generated. So how much detail do you just want a link, or do you want a bunch of other content around that? Excellent. So where do we set up these contacts to who's going to be notified and where, how do we apply this to a KPI? Sure. So contacts, I won't get into in too much detail, but if you, you can go ahead and open up contacts and contacts can be defined. You can have as many of those as you want. And the beauty of a contact is they can come from a database. They can, um, you can hard code them. They can be either a single person or a group of people. So you may have a, a contact called operators that has 20 people in it. And that could even change based on shifts if you choose to, if it comes from a database. Great. I won't get into contacts, but I'll show you how those contacts applies when we get into KPIs. So we take a look at some KPIs here. When you want to set up alerting, you have a few fields you care about. Um, really kind of most importantly here are, are who are the contacts. Um, again, you need to have at least one contact. It can be the main or one of the alts or all of them. Uh, you need at least one. In this case, I set up my main contacts here are operators, um, my alt contact are supervisors, and my, my third alt or second alt contact are plant managers. And what this is doing now is when this ties into my template, I can say, you know what? I always want operators to know when something is not in a good state. Supposing it's low, I want an operators to know. Uh, if the temperature gets too low or too high, I want operators to know. If it gets really high, then I want operators and supervisors to know. And if it gets critical, then not only do you alert the operators and supervisors, but the plant managers. And the beauty of that is you don't want to bother the plant managers or, or the supervisors even when something is a little bad, but as it gets progressively worse, you can escalate this alert to different people. And then finally, the alert template. Yeah, I mean, is this something you only want to alert certain people on? Uh, you know, what, what Set of def set of data we defined in that template that applies to this KPI. Excellent. So this is a lot of cool stuff and it's very powerful. So tell me why do you consider this so so important? Well, it's definitely more flexible and powerful than we used to. It saves you a bunch of work with templates. Uh, you know, you can make one change and apply it to a hundred KPIs, and it gives us the ability to escalate uh, these alarms based on status. Great, so that's uh, an excellent overview of the new alerting system inside of Visual KPI. Um, this is available for uh, in the Pro and Enterprise editions of Visual KPI, and if you're already a customer, you can just upgrade to the latest version and you will have this functionality. And if you're not a customer, you can uh, view a demo and I'll put a URL on the screen that shows you where to go to to play with it, or you can sign up for a free trial to test it out with your own data. So thank you, Christian, and uh, thanks for watching.